not how my phone just shut off. I don't know. I'm still sitting in the same spot. I had to take my fleece off because it was way too hot. But I mean, it's crazy anymore. It, it, it truly is. It mystifies me. It mystifies me to how much evil goes on. And most people don't either see it, know it, or understand it. See, there's my umbrella. There's my coat. That's where I'll actually be sitting. So, knowing that I already heard certain things and beings oh now I'm really angry See, if I didn't have to carry all these keys anymore and have locks and a key for each of those and then one for the inside. I wouldn't have just broke my cross that now has to be fixed. That, that that's very upsetting considering I just got it bag seeing as how I went yesterday with uh, just only I gotta glue him back up there But those who do wicked should watch out because the Lord, he does bite. He does not like people who do wrong constantly. I just took off my sweatpants because I was sweating to death. Grabbing my Bible so I can read it. But now I gotta fix my cross. Hopefully. I got super glue. I hope. The 
the Lord doesn't like people who constantly do evil and wicked things. Those who don't turn their back. Those who try to ensnare the good with evil. If you think I'm joking, read the Bible. You tell me what it says. You tell me if I'm wrong. Do whoever watches this, tell me if I'm wrong. Yes, I do have super glue. Let's see if I can fix him. I mean, this cross only came from overseas. And that's what it feels like anymore. Is that's why the trust is gone. Just devoured. It's nothing left of it. And I should be able to.
Yeah, it says, I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh, as ye have yielded your members' servants to uncleanness and to iniquity, unto iniquity. Even so now yield your members' servants to righteousness, unto holiness. For when ye for when ye were the servants of sin, ye were free from righteousness. What fruit had ye then, and those thereof ye are now? For in the end of those things is death. But now you bring made free from sin and become servants to God. Ye have your fruit unto holiness, and the end, everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death. Oh, wait a minute. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift from God, of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now, I was never one to go to church or read the Bible. But when you go without TV and something just compels you to read it and you stick with it and then decide something, something inside you tells you just, you know, you got to go farther, you got to go farther, you got to go farther. Well, at that point, I would venture to say that someone is calling you there for a reason. And those who are caught up in everything that the Bible speaks of badly, all I can say is I wish you well. God bless, and have a nice day. <laughs>